Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how to resort columns in NIME. So in order to resort columns, you're going to have to go over to the node repository and look up resort. And then you'll see this column resorter node You can click, drag it onto the canvas. And then specifically, I want to resort the output from this node. Right now I have department labor expense followed by total labor expense. And then finally the department percent of the year. So what I want to do is resort these columns so that my department percent of the year is before the department labor expense. So in order to do that, I'm going to take this column resorter. Since I already have a workflow going on, I'm just going to drop it onto the existing connection. Hit OK. So now let's double click to configure this. And now you see the list of columns that are available from from the data that came from this output through this input. So here you can just resort however you'd like. You can click and you have these options to resort. I just want to move this column up or over to the left of these other two. So now that I've got it in the sequence that I want, I'm going to hit apply, hit OK. Now you can see that the column resorter node is yellow, aka it's been configured and ready to execute. So I'll right click, then hit execute. I'm good to go. Now I can right click, see the output data. And now you can see that the columns are resorted. And now the department percent of the year comes before the department labor expense and the total labor expense columns. So that's how you resort in NIME, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you have uh, any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can in the comments. And then, like always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and then I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.